Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to look at one of the capability of Automation Anywhere that's still in preview, but it's very exciting capability. Did you ever wonder that you can invoke your automations by typing prompts to an LLM? That's really possible now with Automation Anywhere, Automation Copilot powered by Amazon Q. That's what we are going to look at today. It's still in preview, so please expect some changes here and there once you get to see this final version out there. So let's dive in to, this, to my computer screen and let's see this in action. So I have logged into the control room where I can access the assistant, which is Automation Copilot that's powered by Amazon Q. If you notice, you see an additional tab here called Assistant. In, in your regular Automation Copilot, you already see these three options. If you go to automations, you see all the processes that are part of um, this this automations, right? There are nine completely uh, for this example. There are nine such processes. Let me go here. So it it uh, it welcomes uh, the logged in user and it uh, provides two options like get automation that a person can run and get pending task assigned to the logged in person. So I'll, I'll click on get pending task for me. Um, but since there are no pending tasks, it should return like there are no pending tasks. So currently you have no pending tasks assigned to you. Uh, I'll say recommend automations that I can run. I want to have a view of what automations I am allowed to run. So I'll just give this prompt and expect the system to provide me a list of all the available automations that I can run. So it has given me a summary of all the nine automations along with their description, what exactly they do. For example, if I run this auto loan pre-approval, so it states what exactly this automation does. I'm interested in, let's say, create an IT ticket on ServiceNow. So I'll, I'll click this. I'll ask the automation co-pilot that I want to create a ticket on ServiceNow. This all these things even can happen through a conversation as well and that's where it is a conversational automation so i have been presented with an option which is asking my name and description of the issue i am facing issue to connect to a vpn urgency for me it is very high urgency i'll submit the ticket and i should and the system, the automation will go in service now. It will create an incident for me. It will log an incident for me and it provided the incident number. You you saw that that happened within a flick of a second, right? That's where AI API tasks come into play. As soon as you submit this automation, there's an API task that gets invoked and it does the job of creating an incident. I'm happy with this. I'll click on submit to proceed further. So you can click on show details for this request. You'll get all the logs. So this is how this is how the interface would look like uh, for Automation Copilot powered by Amazon Q. And this is still in preview stage. So please expect if there are any discrepancies and if what you see, if some things get changed when you see it in the final version, right, when it's productionized. Now let me show you the conversational capabilities. I am logged in with another user here. Let's say you have a problem with your laptop or connecting to a VPN or a network, right? I'll just say. I have a problem with my laptop. Please create a ticket. I'm facing slowdown issue. It uh, gave me a problem like they need to understand more about my problem. So I just mentioned I'm facing slowdown issue. So um, the automation returned to uh, these things. Maybe uh, this was like very vague context that's the reason it got confused and it provided it like there are two automations that uh, i found and you can run in work one so in this case you can uh, the user can create uh, use user can run this automation but we wanted it to be more specific let's say i'll say i want to process loan for a customer here again it suggested two things auto loan pre-approval process and insurance quotation process. So maybe I'll say, I want to track my shipments. It asks also, would you like me to start the execution? When we say, yes, please. 
let's see what happens so it has already invoked this automation and it is asking us to enter the order number phone number so that's how you can um, try your conversational prompts to run the automations how you can in integrate this capability on any web web platform for example salesforce or service now we'll see on salesforce let me open salesforce and try to log in there so as soon as i log into salesforce i get various options here various menu options here so opportunities leads tasks accounts cases so on and so forth so currently it's a blank instance it will not have any uh, such data here but what i will do is i will go on cases and will try to create one new case so i'll what I will describe here, whatever is the mandatory field. For example, subject. Um, I'll type automation copilot test case. And description, maybe I'll put the same thing and I'll keep it blank. I'll say save. I'll select here maybe web and then I click save so we will get a case created as soon as you see a case created here you see a automation copilot which was already embedded as a part of Salesforce component and you it will be loaded it, you will get the view of all the automations that this logged in user has access to through automation copilot so here we go what you saw here as an independent standalone conversational agent or conversational automation option here the same thing is embedded into this application Salesforce for now it is Salesforce it can be any other web application as well so let me I mean I can perform same actions here also get pending task assigned to me and you can drive your automations through a conversational way and the hence the co hence this is concept is known as conversational automation for now I'm not sure if it is gonna be rebranded going further as as it come to production um, but for now it is conversational automation capability along with automation copilot let's try one prompt here get me the open cases so I'm not sure if the system will have the context. Yeah, it won't because we don't have any such we have, we have not trained the system on any such context, right? All all the context it has is all about these nine automations. So if we if we type anything which uh, which defines the intent of running these automations, then only it will work for anything new. It won't. But over here, what you can do is, for example, as a logged in user, if you get some task related to your case if something is assigned you it will be shown in the assigned task list and the logged in user or the end user can act upon it without leaving a platform without leaving salesforce all can be managed here itself similarly you can also do it in service now or any other web application and there is also extension of pixie bricks that also help you to integrate with uh, multiple other web applications so guys that's all about conversational automation from automation anywhere if you like this video please share it with your friends subscribe to the channel thank you so much see you in the next